Welcome on board the uh, MSN 65, the A350-1000, so one of the three test aircraft we have here showcasing at the Singapore Air Show. So this is a test aircraft. As you can see, there are not so fancy things here. This is to acquire data from all the sensors around the cabin. What still is present on the real production airplanes though are these largest bins in the market. You have here uh, the widest bins in the market. You can place actually five pieces of luggage in each. Above my head, the highest ceilings in the market. So this is a spacious cabin that we have in the economy class. This is an airspace cabin, meaning that there are ambience, services, design features and comfort features that really make it an extraordinary and comfortable airplane. We are in the economy class in a nine abreast configuration. This is comfort economy. You see the 18 inch wide seats that are uh, world famous but also our Airbus specialty. We also are capable to offer the 10 abreast configuration. It's actually in uh, service today. The side walls on both sides of these cabins are really vertical, offering the window passengers the same kind of space for their legs and body than those sitting in the aisle. On top of this, every passenger at the window seat has a window, which is not always the case with competitor airplanes. So let's go through the galley number two and this door. An occasion for me to tell you that this is a very pleasant working environment, that it is a quiet place and actually we're entering here in the uh, business class area of this A350-1000, which is the quietest twin aircraft flying today. The business class area is a much open space, much more open than the economy actually, because we have this high ceiling feature there. Uh, we actually got rid of the center bins because we just don't need them. The lateral ones are big enough to contain all the uh, roll-on bags of the passengers. There are 40 business class seats on board the MSN 65, but actually airlines don't figure them uh, the way they want. You could have first class then business class or business class on both sides of the door two area. What remains important is that the 351-1000 is seven meters longer than its sibling, the 350-900, giving it the opportunity to have 40 percent more space for the premium classes. Again, there are no missing windows on our E350-1000. It is a bright space with large panoramic windows, very the best ones to look around when you're flying on board. On these entertainment uh, systems, we have wide screens, we have the HD thanks to fiber optics being used up to the seat and uh, we give the possibility to passengers to actually watch the aircraft from the tail. This is a unique feature on our aircraft, it is the tail camera. You would find it equally on the 380 and the 350 and this really is a hit, they love it. Let's move on into the uh, business class area and talk a bit more about the quietness of this cabin. It is quiet for long flights and the 350 XWB is this, a family of long haul airplanes capable of flying 8,000 nautical miles. The 350-1000 is about to enter in service with this 8,000 nautical miles mark, but also uh, it, it calls for greater level of comfort, quietness and an air that is renewed every two to three minutes. Um, also the humidity level which is higher than with other airplanes and the cabin pressure that is higher than on previous generation airplanes. It's actually pressurized at 6,000 feet, 6,000 feet meaning that you do not feel any uh, tiredness of being flying for long durations. The future is there. The 350-1000 is a trans-Pacific aircraft. It is there to support the great development in the market that we see happening around, especially in Asia. Bear in mind that within the next 20 years, traffic in Asia will triple, will triple, which means that this aircraft is the perfect fit for today's traffic needs, but also for tomorrow's evolving markets.